Good morning, everybody. I'm here at the New World Center in the heart of Miami Beach. I'm actually in the director's studio looking at this nice C5, but it's got an issue. Let's talk about it. All right, here's the issue. very easy to get it to do a double strike. So we're gonna pull the action out and see what's going on. With the action inside the piano, it was really hard to see. But if you look here, very slow, very slow springs. And this goes back to what I said uh, in the Petrov video. The repetition spring obviously helps, you know, as its name, it helps in repetition, but one of the big things is it helps, you can see my hand in the background there, hello. It helps with keeping the key press and the hammer movement in sync. And because it's so slow in this action setup, as I push the key down, the hammer is behind the movement of the key, the movement of all this stuff going on in here. And so it's able to get a little bit extra zhuzh from the key at the bottom which makes the double strike let's um let's tighten the spring and then put it in and see if it still does it so this one is our note i just drop down in there pull the spring out come on there we go and you can see i've got it right here this little guy just give that a little tug you really don't need to do much at least at first That's better. I can feel it move pretty strongly in the key, so I'm actually only going to go that far. Let's check out how it happens, uh, what happens now inside. Okay, so, do the same move. Notice it's not going into check. Let's, uh, Let's raise the back check. You can see how far down on the check it's going, way past the halfway mark. I like to go a little bit above halfway, um, but then making sure that it doesn't rub on the tail back there. Um, I need two hands for this. No, you know what, maybe just one, a little pull. Yeah, one hand's okay. Two's better. I'm just pushing it up a little bit. Now notice, once the back check is up, the spring seems slower. It's actually not slower. It's that because it's pushing it from a higher place, the compression of the spring is less than, as if, than if the hammer was resting lower, like where it is now at rest. So we need to strengthen the spring just a touch more. Now that our back check is in place. Come on, get in there. Ah, get in there. There we go. Still not enough. This really illustrates how regulation is um, Regulation kind of goes in circles. And you adjust this, and then you need to tweak that a little bit more. Right? Good. Let's put it in and see. All right, check it out. It's way more difficult to get a double strike, but there's one more thing I noticed um, that's still causing an issue. The let off is too high. All of these issues to me say high humidity. The back check being low, um, the uh, spring being slow, definitely a humidity issue, and then the uh, high let off, usually let off is low, not high. So that says to me that things are swollen a bit. Let's get the let off tool, see what happens there. This was incredibly difficult to get into frame, but I'll do my best to kind of demonstrate. 
yeah, no, you can't quite see it, but I'm just lowering where the hammer falls off. Hmm. Yeah. So now. So all three of those things were coming together um, to cause the double striking. The repetition spring was not tight enough, so the hammer wasn't kicking. The back check was too low, or I should say the hammer was checking too low in the back check, so it was having the spring do way more work than it needed to, throwing the hammer back up towards the string on reset. And then at the end there, the let off being just too tight for a uh, comfortable amount of control. Um, and all those three things came together to have uh, what some people call the bobbling hammer, or um, really it's just a, a double striking on the string. It's a lack of control in the keyboard. Um, it also makes for the note to have more sound, as funny as that sounds. But proper regulation is voicing. If you don't believe me, get out there. Regulate some pianos, you'll see that they actually sound better.